Bleeding Edge subscribers, hopefully you guys are doing well. Look, on Monday we said this was going to be a gigantic week for corporate earnings. You have some of the largest companies in the world reporting earnings, and it's just unfolding. I'll be back on Friday to give you kind of a rundown of what happened and unfolds the rest of this week. But look, yesterday at 2.30 Pacific time, Elon Musk pulled off a miracle. For a man that has launched uh, rockets into space and has built numerous billion dollar companies, this might have been his greatest achievement ever. And it couldn't come at a more critical time for his company. At all year, shares of Tesla have been reeling. Heading into the first quarter conference call, Elon Musk's company was down 40%. But maybe like a great athlete stepping up when time was running out, Elon Musk delivered one of his finest performance I've ever seen. He somehow convinced investors a new Tesla vehicle that wasn't supposed to arrive until 2025 might be in production by the end of this year. Now forget the fact that EV sales were down 13% year over year and there's really no sign of recovery in sight. Ignore the fact that we haven't seen a prototype or even know what the vehicle could potentially look like. And look, I'll actually give Elon Musk and Tesla the benefit of the doubt here. The car maker has designed and manufactured millions of cars, including the best-selling car in the world. And I have full confidence that they'll release more popular cars in the future, but Elon Musk's magic didn't end there. For years, Elon Musk and Tesla have been hyping full self-driving or FSD software. This is the software that allows the car to drive itself, making turns, changing lanes, and coming to a stop just like a human driver would. The idea is that one day, Tesla's full self-driving software is good enough that a driver wouldn't be required and the Tesla could serve as a robo-taxi earning money for Tesla and the car's owner. And look, I'll be the first to admit how exciting a concept self-driving robo-taxis would be. Look, I've got two Teslas sitting right out here. Nothing would be more satisfying than having my car zoom off when I'm not using it and earn some money. It'd be great. But the hype around FSD and robo-taxis is completely out of control. Tesla owners who have spent thousands of dollars on the software have convinced themselves it was worth the money over the years. Then there's a group of people who don't own a Tesla but see videos of the software working properly and they imagine how cool it would be to own a car that drives itself. But the fact of the matter is, the software is far from perfect. I just returned from a road trip to Las Vegas where I use full self-driving feature as much as possible. Numerous times the card made maneuvers and disengaged, often when I was speeding 85 miles per hour down a highway. Around town, I had to stomp on the brake to avoid blowing through a stop sign. Now, don't get me wrong, the full self-driving software works, and it's actually downright pleasant to have the car do most of the driving, especially on a long road trip. But I would never sit in the back seat and let the car drive itself, let alone put my family or my children back there and just let the car go. There's no chance of that. And there lies the challenge for Tesla. When perfection is the standard, there's really no upside for the company. Take, for example, Boeing. The company has manufactured some of the most impressive aircraft in the history of transportation. Boeing's aircraft has a stellar safety record. And statistically, it's probably the safest way to travel, but anything short of perfection for Boeing, and it has devastating consequences. Tesla's full self-driving software will be held to the same standards. And in some ways, it actually is going to be worse. Driving, first of all, is inherently more dangerous and in many ways more complex than flying an airplane. Not only that, but Elon Musk, for better or worse, has made himself a lightning rod for controversy. His conservative viewpoints and actions have made him a target of the liberal news media. If every mistake Boeing makes is bad, every mistake Tesla makes and its full self-driving makes, it's going to be worse. And that likely won't be great for Tesla shareholders in the long run. Over the past 10 years, Boeing shares are just up 32%. That's just over 3% return a year for a decade. And look, over the past five years, 
As Boeing has struggled with safety issues, shares of the company are down over 50%. Tesla, believe it or not, is heading down the same path as Boeing. One where perfection is the standard and anything less will be punishing to shareholders. Now, don't get me wrong. I really, really admire Elon Musk. I also will always remain a satisfied owner of a Tesla. They're great cars, but the company's full self-driving software isn't going to solve any challenges Tesla faces, and in fact, will likely make them worse. That was the Bleeding Edge for today. I'll be back again later this week. See you again soon.